While the F-35 stealth fighter might come to mind today, in 2004, the most timely answer might have been the RAH-66 Comanche. The slick-looking stealth helicopter spent 22 years in development, consuming over $7 billion before being abruptly canceled, with only two flying prototypes to show for it. Okay, you want to take the controls? Okay. The Comanche sprang of by the Army's Light Helicopter Experimental Program, conceived during the defending spending glut of the 1980s. Among other objectives, this program sought a replacement for the Army's OH-58 Kiowa and OH-6 KU Scout helicopters, which were derived from the civilian Bell 206 Jet Ranger and Hughes 500 chopper. Scout helicopters were primarily tasked with spying out enemy positions and designating them for attack by friendly forces. However, they were also suitable for attacking lightly defended targets with rocket pods, miniguns, and even tank-busting tow or Hellfire missiles while armored Apache gunships tackled heavier foes. Still, the Army wanted a more survivable scout helicopter to combat the Soviet Union's huge mechanized armies, which were well protected by self-propelled short-range anti-aircraft missiles and rapid-firing flak cannons. And what better way to outwit these radar-guided systems than with the stealth technology than being pioneered by the Air Force's F-117 stealth jet? After six years of conceptual dithering, in 1988, the Army finally issued a request for proposals and selected in 1991 a futuristic design proposed by Boeing and Sikorsky. The RHA-66 Reconnaissance Attack Helicopter was formally named after the Comanche Native American tribe per Army custom. The Pentagon allocated $2.6 billion to developing the chopper, 1,200 of which were eventually planned for manufacture at the Sikorsky factory in Bridgeport, Connecticut for a total cost of $34 billion, $28 million per helicopter. That same year saw the dissolution of the Soviet Union along with the rationale and budget for building many gold-plated U.S. weapon systems such as the Sea Wolf class submarine. Nonetheless, Boeing and Sikorsky proceeded with the development of two prototypes shaped with non-radar reflective surfaces made out of radar-absorbing composite materials. This allegedly gave the Comanche 1 250th the radar cross-section of an OH-58, allowing it to approach four times closer to an enemy prior to detection. A heat-dispersing scheme channeled hot exhaust into the tail for cooling by the shrouded tail fan and used infrared dampening paint to reduce the scout chopper's heat signature to one quarter of normal. Even the five downward canted blades atop the Comanche's top rotor were designed to produce half as much noise as a regular helicopter. Should it be detected, the Comanche was further shielded by radar warning systems, self-defense jammers, chafe and flare dispensers, and enough Kevlar and graphite armor to withstand heavy machine gun rounds and 23 millimeter shells. A pilot and weapon systems officer sat in a tandem arrangement operating the helicopter with special helmet-mounted sights and liquid crystal multifunction displays. 